Using the crop tool, I'm leveling the image based on the horizon line. And that layer is a smart layer, which means I can open it back up in camera raw and make a few adjustments. Here I'm using the auto selection brush, my favorite tool, to grab them and make them into a foreground layer so that I can have control over them and the background separately. All right, and I applied that selection as a mask, and here I'm opening up the background layer and making it a little bit darker so they really stand out. Okay, I duplicated that, and I applied some shadows and highlights. Now I brought them into a brand new image just so that I can use the HDR toning tool to give some HDR details there. You can only do this on a flat image, so I bring it back in as a separate layer, which I can fade in a little bit to add some detail and grit. Cleaning up the mask layer with levels. And using the color range selection tool, I am selecting the blue of the sky and turning it into a selection, which I apply as a mask to the background. That allows me to do a sky swap. So here I'm actually cleaning up the mask by using black and white brushing. And if you alt click the mask thumbnail in Windows or option click it in Mac, you can get to this view where you can see the mask itself and clean it up with brushes, selections, levels, curves, things like that. Using a stock sky image that I have, I'm inserting it behind the building. I go playing with a few different ones to find one that I like. Now the trees still have some fringing and some edges that I don't like in the mask, so I'm cleaning those up by using levels and also brushing kind of a neutral dark color to fill in those fringe pixels that are not clean, that kind of have some sky pixels from the original image. Uh, just kind of lightly brushing in some dark colors can fill in those gaps and save you a lot of tedious work. Make sure you check all areas of your mask to make sure it looks good, that there's no fringing. Delete any unwanted sections. Here I'm using uh, auto selection to erase the fringing on the roof. And in the mask, I'm just erasing those parts of the palm trees that I don't like that look kind of messy, including some antennas and stuff from the building. Basically, I'm just reducing the distraction to the background. And one of those distractions, in my opinion, is all these cables and stuff. So using the healing tool with a small round brush, I'm just painting over those wires and also some extra just trash and ugly stuff to get rid of it very easily. Now playing with these layers that I have of the couple, I want to make sure that they really pop and have a lot of nice contrast. And one trick is dodge and burning. So here I'm using a technique that I like to do with curves where I brush in or brush out the curves to dodge or burn the layer of the couple. Here I'm using a quick selection mask to grab their skin and a surface blur to smooth out any of the details and noise in their skin to make them look nice and clean. Getting rid of these signs and some other trash in the background. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick overview of this edit that I did. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.